right? So I'm kind of, I wouldn't say behind, but um, not really showing current. It's August 23rd. So I haven't really shared too much of what we've been doing this month. It's just been, we've just been moving, 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 moving ever since last month, really. And um, so I'm just kind of do a day in the life, but just kind of walk you through what we've been doing. Here is Zion, the three-year-old, her math. And um, yeah. She's working at her own pace, but there are some things in here. She's pretty good with writing her numbers. She knows her numbers. She can count pretty high up, but there are some uh, mechanics that we're still working on this, in this book. I don't want to move her too fast. So we're working on mechanics and math is, you'll see, I feel that you need to really take your time because if you move it too fast, um, you introduce another concept and you find that they may not have gotten previous concepts completely. So I don't like to move too fast. And I think I sh did vlog some of this yesterday, so I might just include the clip. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she is writing numbers. So this is kind of where she's at. I think I'll just include the clip. If it's not too long. Um, but she's got the mechanics. This is a hands-on page. She can uh, get her cubes out and match, make the train, write the numbers down. So that's where we are. And it's done. It's just really light. If you guys can see that. And she likes to do it in pencil. So um, that is it. And we are lightly working on adding, subtracting, and things like that. So she can do all of that. Like I said, I'm just making sure that she's got it down where she can form the numbers and also her letters, where she can form them properly. Not that um, she doesn't know them. So, I mean, she's got a little test coming up here. Pretty simple. Nothing too hard. Count and solve. That's it. Um, where do I want to go with this? And this is not in any particular. I'm just grabbing what's on the table. It's the end of the day. So, um, Aaliyah, let's see, what do I have right here? I have uh, grammar. And so, this is where I should be at tomorrow. We're working on commas with her. This is grade one. And so, she is learning where to place commas. Um, she gets a lot of the comma in her uh, math. And I will share that in a minute. So she's learned how to place commas in the correct places and dates. It's a little message. And today, she's doing a page a day. I think this is probably about three pages. I don't know, four pages in this little chapter. Um, she wrote, I use a highlighter and let her write over. She's still a little uh, shaky with her letter formations. And writing on the lines so i use a highlighter and let her trace over it she wrote the date so that's where that is um, her grammar today and oh this is old <laughs> she got an old packet in here from june but that's where we are and then she'll put the commas between a series of words tomorrow and next day she'll fill in the blanks where the commas need to go so that's where she's at in her grammar and let's see who's over here okay this is Tariq we do a combination of things every day they do a mugshot sentence this is their grammar this is grade two and um, it's basically correct the sentence um, we actually did not do Monday and so actually what they're going to do we didn't do Tuesday we didn't do today so they'll actually just do the three to catch up actually four because tomorrow's Thursday and that's fine but usually it's one a day and um, yeah Monday just kind of threw us off because of the eclipse it threw 
I scheduled Monday, I planned Monday, but we did other things. And I've written a sentence. I'm trying to get them to scale their letters down. I tried this on um, paper and it, I don't know, it worked, but not really. It came out a little sloppier. I think they preferred it like this. So I just took the sheet and um, I'm able to to copy it legally <laughs> and um, stick it in here and I wrote it and then I put an arrow where the correction should be and so hopefully they can scale their letters down and learn how to write within the lines that's what we're working on this year so that's one thing that they do it takes them all the two minutes to do a sentence and then oh this is old too I think, you know what, I just took all of their work out of here, but they they were on commas two months ago. So I wanted to share um, the other things. They have a vocabulary notebook that they work on. And pull this out real quick. They get a word, preferably one that they don't know. They have to use the dictionary to look it up write the definition, write a picture, or draw a picture, and then write a sentence. So, dictionary skills. So let me grab the other thing that they just finished. I just took it out of the folder because it's kind of a, a, it's a little project. It goes along with our literature and our reading. Very good. Good. Yeah. Look for some bread ones. No red ones. No red ones with the holes. Get the get the plain red ones. There you go. You found them. Good. Perfect size. Perfect size. <laughs> So what is our number? This one doesn't want to stay long. It doesn't want to stay. Let me try, try, try this one. one. Okay. What number do you have today? Five. Five. So we started at what page? We did that page, that page, that page. This page and this page. And that page. Yay. One, two, three, four, five pages today. I think we can take a break for today. I don't want to take a break. You don't want to take a break. Okay. This is what happens when you don't do math for a couple of days or work in your math book. All right, it says make the number five right here. So you have to make five ducks. Write how many ducks? And then it says draw. We need to make five fish. And then we need to draw a picture of something that shows five in the sand. Well, can we draw a picture that's in the sand? A horse. A ho five horses in the sand? Yes. How about five crabs? Or five starfish? Five starfish. Oh. Five starfish. We need to draw five of something. Okay, finish right here. Trace your five. Or five ducks. Again. Now, we need to make how many more fish? If we need five fish, how many more do we need to make? There's one, two, th three, four, five. How many more fish do we need to make? We need to make how many more? 
How, how many more fish can you draw? Three. Three? Oh, great. Draw, draw some fish. Draw some fish. I can't draw some fish. How, you can't draw some fish. Let's, let's see if we can. I'm not too sure. Let's see. We can draw some that look like that, huh? How about that? And this way. <laughs> you watching me, huh? Let's see. That one came out pretty decent. Let's try this way. Oh, you, you got the hang of it. You got the hang of it. Gives a little fishy an eye and a mouth. All right, five fishies in the, five fishies in the, what are they in? Pond. In the pond. Will you uh, write the number five on your line right here? It just looks like a tongue. It does. <laughs> Fishes don't have tongue. Fishes don't have tongue. Well, you know, Ooh. mom is not the best artist. I try. Sure. I am? Okay. Thank you for that. I didn't make a tongue. Okay, is that better? I didn't give Fishy a tongue. Okay. Take your pencil, write your five on your line. I Now some eyes. <laughs> it don't look right. Try it again. It looks nice to me. It doesn't look right. It Cats have blue eyes. Cats? But we're drawing a duck. And cats have big eyes. Who has big eyes? Cats. Is this a cat or we're drawing ducks? Ducks. Okay. That's a big eye. I think that's perfect. We have been well into this book, just about completely finished. But to um, get this down, I really wanted to get this once I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. It came from nothing but class. I wanted to use it. And if you all know, like I said, when I purchase books, I purchase them with intent. And then I always try to find an activity. I don't do uh, basic comprehension is not read the book even if it's a read aloud I am not just asking okay what happened in this chapter that's just too basic okay um, you need to ask more questions detailed questions especially at their age they need to be able to tell a little more than just what happened okay so this is a um, kind of a character analysis page where they tell uh, about they describe Ramona and her father so, well, she's a kid, he's an adult, she's five, roughly, maybe six, I can't remember. He's 33, I'm guessing. I think I read that somewhere, <laughs> or he may be 34. She, go, he, she goes to school, he goes to work, she likes to draw, and he does yard work. Okay, so they have to come up with this stuff based on what they know about. We've been into Ramona series books for a long time now, so they know you know the Quimby's very well so I really enjoyed this page just a minute um, this one is about a quick write about payday uh, what would you put on your Christmas list if you know the book then you know what this is and they put down what they would put on their list and then there's a multiple choice where does Mrs. Quimby work uh, what grade is Beezus in the sister true or false questions and then here's another uh, character analysis what do you know about Ramona so far what is your first impressions of her so they're coming up with some nice adjectives to describe Ramona not just one word so and I like I said we worked on this pretty much for the last couple weeks because I don't want to give them this too much we just worked on it as our leisure you know permitted but I wanted to get it finished in addition to everything else so if you're wondering how do I work these things in this is how it may not happen in a day it may not happen in a week when I throw stuff like this in or unit studies hold on but this is how we do it and then 
my favorite part, the vocabulary part. So they get some vocabulary in here and then we had to get the dictionary, look it up and it was kind of hard to write the definition in here. We didn't do illustrations for all of them, but it's kind of hard to write a, draw a picture for the word reassured and distaste. I don't know, it's kind of hard, but anywho. Um, and then you uh, fill in the, the vocabulary word. And then over here, beyond the chapter, she goes out for hamburgers because it's payday. You have to draw a picture of what something that you would want and illustrate it. So that is what they did. And then on this last page, you get comprehension and analysis. What is Ramona's Christmas list? At first, you know, she her father lost his job. And so all her list becomes, um, she wanted guinea pig and mice and all of that she only in the end she only wanted her family happy again because they needed money so um yeah describe ramona's sister how does miss quimby respond when ramona asks why she crossed see this is a little more than what happened in the chapter okay um why do ramona and Beezus first suspect something is wrong because they know their dad usually comes home and talks to them and he didn't Ramona feels sad and lonely at the end of the chapter and provide textual ev evidence for your answer because he lost his job and he wasn't playful anymore like he usually was. So this was a nice little thing and like I said we're well and we're just about done with this book. Um, I have not found things for all of the Ramona series but this was nice and I can this gives me a basis I can make up my own but it's nice to find things that way I don't have to make up my own. <laughs> So teachers by teachers, free, okay? This is actually reading level three, four, five, and six. And let's see what else we have going on here. I'm not getting ready to open this, but there is uh, the five-year-old's math right there. She has Saxon, six-year-olds do reading. Walk All right, today was an odd day, meaning we did not use our core reading curriculum because we finished the uh, chapter. So I pulled out differentiated reading, and they usually just I will pick out what I want them to um, read, and this is a um, we use hooked on phonics for the SRA portion, the comprehension, but this is a good um, alternative, okay? Sometimes we, you know, we alternate things, and for those of you that don't use Hooked on Phonics and you wonder what can you use, these little books are very helpful. They're very detailed, and I like the comprehension. The questions are not basic. So we, we read uh, Be Amazing, and it's just talking about children and their different talents. The highlighted words are the vocabulary words, and it gives you what it means down here. And then you get your questions over here. And what it is, is three different reading levels. That's why there's three pages that are titled the same. Above level, below level, and at grade level, okay? You answer the question. The artist told us about his paintings. He or him teaches art lessons, okay? Uh, it moves on to what is a talent. So they really had to pay attention and to be able to explain what is a talent, what is a tutor, why does the author say that every kid can be amazing? And then it asked them, what talent do you have and what would you like to learn more about? And so this went into what you're going to see in a little while, the art portion, okay? So I pulled the art out of this right here. Had nothing to do with it, but I just threw it in there because we were talking also about art today in geography, okay? so. I don't know, that's just how my mind works. But it all came together in the end. So, that. And then we also do um, reading comprehension, scholastic. These are also great little resources to have around because you can do all sorts of things with this little, you know, it takes five, ten minutes. They read and then do whatever it says. And no pressure. You know, they can complete this. Um you know in no time so we do use these and I like the way they're put together um, that aspect um, and the fact that I paid 99 cents <laughs> also helps 
let me see where else do I want to go we were talking about France we use window on the world this is part of my father's world and I actually did not know that when I purchased the book but um, you go around the world and basically um, different countries and I think I've shared this book before talks about uh, you know religion and lifestyle and things like that just two pages and then it tip how to pray for each country that you come across so we do this in the morning with our um, Bible and devotion and things like that I try to tie it in into geography if it's um, like we were doing going through France again if you know the actual France is not in here whatever is closest that country is what we'll focus on so um, math yeah we are tying up some math actually uh, doing a little bit of um, reinforcement and instead of giving them the pages to let them work on it we did everything on the whiteboard and the whiteboard for us is really just one of these highlighted we use these things for everything so that's why they are here everybody has one two three or five i don't know i just keep them around but i keep them on the table because we use them as you know portable whiteboards it's just two pieces of story paper draw the picture laminate it but anyway this is what they did the two of them we sat down and we worked on these math pages actually that was i don't know last week or something but um today we had to go back through here to kind of get this down fact families whole part numbers that type of thing they were feeling a little less confident than um they could be and we got it down so we just kind of did a little math lab today and that is what we did and working with the you know the double digits and things like that and they got it so we're good with that so that's what that looks like so yeah we completed all of that and the actual next book is here and we kind of worked on some of this this is just um kind of a review this is practice counting by tens counting by fives counting by twos um graphing things like that this is typically what you would see in a second grade math book so you get your critical thinking and things like that and we do have the books i just pull this and use this as a means for group that way we can kind of get through lessons a little bit more effective um, than having them just sit down and write everything <coughs> but yeah there is that and then um let's see what else do we do today I don't know, was that about it? We did so much stuff. Um, <laughs> you will see, and I'm saying, um, you will see the, you will see the art that they worked on today. And we are still going through our um, unit study for Galloping the Globe. And what I did was when I designed this a couple of years ago as a um, co-op because there are other people that participate with us um, not actually vloggers but uh, homeschool moms families um, I designed it to be kind of perpetual so even though we go through the book there are more details that they learn we add more details to the countries each year so you know maybe we didn't include currency one year we go back through and we include currency you know we include uh, more phrases um, you know the language and things like that to that um, so that is what they do but basically here you get a map and you get a flag and you color and there's just all sorts of resources there's a whole video on this so France is where we were finishing even though we touched on um, we're beyond France um, for some reason, I did not have uh, something else I wanted to include. So we had to include that. And let me pull our books and show you our literature that we use for France and Great, and Great Britain. Yeah.
such a wonderful right. job on your on your picture. And your, and, Write your name. And this way. On that and one. Z. I like the jawline. Hold on. Right here. Yes. Z. Z H H A A Y A. A. Good job. Z H A Z H A Y A A Y A A Y A A Y A I don't know what comes to your mind. It's beautiful. Very nice. It's not done yet. Make a Y. You did it. I can't. Well, you already made it. Make a V. Quickly. Here, I only asked you to do it once, but that's okay. Next time, one one name, okay? Put the top, finish writing, and then put the top on your marker. A. A. Tariq, let me see your picture. See I wrote my name with this one because this one didn't work. Let me see your picture, too. So I, I, re, I redid it. You redid it? Yep. Will you bring me your, your art picture? It's not finished. He said it's not, not finished. finished? No, You had the wrong marker though. Come here. Come pick out the marker you want, the color you want. That was the wrong kind of marker for that. L A Y L A. Okay, that's good. Thank you. May I have your uh, glue stick back, please? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's line all of our and art pictures up right here. Come here, Terry. And they really have to wash my hands. They're very sticky. See? And let's line your pictures up over here. Aaliyah, go get your marker over there. Here, I'll get it. Thank you. Give me the green one back there, too. Why does Eddie have a cow? Look at Eddie having a cow. Z H A Y A S. I did that. That's a pet cow and. And Zai, we have an orange marker right there. No, I love these. Beautiful job. He's still writing. So, what do we think? What can you see in your picture? What does it look like? What a D Can ripple. you find some things? It looks what like this. What I'll, show, I'll show what's the turtle. This is the turtle. The turtle what in yours? Yeah. Zai, what can you see in your picture? Where's a turtle? You see a turtle in your picture? Where's a turtle? What do you see in your picture? This the turtle and this the this is a turtle. A snail. The snail in your picture? Very good, because that's the snail. Where's the snail? What is in your picture? That's a circle mm -hmm. around it. A turtle? Where's your turtle? turtle? Show me your turtle. Now it's a snail. Oh, now if you circle around it, it's a turtle. Oh, uh, it's a snail. Okay. If you circle around I need a piece of paper. Like We're this. finished, though. Oh, this is a turtle. Yeah, Yours kind of looks like a robot. What is it? it? Is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I see stars. Okay. Very creative. That's the right there. Very creative. Yeah, is that a moon right there? Right there? That black yeah. part? Oh, okay. It's the black one. Oh, nice. The black moon. Okay. Very nice. And come see this book. Come see that book. <laughs> okay, little Miss Smart. There it is. Beautiful. And who did we say? What? Did who painted this again? Or who whose art was this? Who was the artist for this? I was. 
You were <laughs> oh good. Henry. But it's really Henri because he's French. Henri Matisse. Henri. But when you read it, it'll look like Henry. But they say Henri in French. <laughs> Yes, I see that one. Let's look over here. Can you find the cat and the bird in that picture? Where's the cat and the bird? I see the bird. And see? And that's the cat. Mm-hmm. And so see how, look at here. What can you see in this? This is very busy. I see a lot of things in this, this painting. It says, I and the village. Look at there. What's in the, where's the eye? Yes. Do you see people? Hold on. I see people. I see two faces in this picture. Two faces. Can you see two faces? There and there. Look at here. And look at here. And look at a tree. And all the village people. I see that. Very nice. So different kinds of art. Turn back. The art goes this way. It's more like architecture. Like our statues we learned about years ago. Building statues and sculptures. Here's some more art. Starry night. Someone painted that. Mm-hmm. I like my books. Vincent Van Gogh. The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. He was a Dutch artist. So look at there. What what do these paintings look like? This one has flowers. Mm -hmm. This is a forest. Very nice. Sculptures yes. from Greece. This is a horse. And we've learned about Greece. This one is a horse. Mm hmm. A flying horse. You're but right. This is flowers. Who did that? I'm not sure. It's called Mother and Child. I think that was the start of it. They, the line is there. Okay, what kind of line? Maybe it was a guideline to help him know which way to draw. Mom. Look at this picture. Ice way. Ice way. The great way. See how the lines move? Yeah. And see, when in this picture, the line is here. In the picture, we just can't see it because he finished drawing and painted. So the line is still there. But we never know what's in the mind of an artist, do we? No. Look at this painting. Yes, I see. Look at here, it shows us how to draw different lines that we can use to draw. See here? Vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. And you have zigzag, curves, spiral, and wavy. I should make this one. You should make that one a cat? Using those lines? Mm -hmm. So all of these lines can make fancy art. Just if you combine those kind of lines, you can make anything. You really cannot mess up art. Unless you just don't try. Because remember we talked about art takes practice. If you're trying to draw something specific or paint it, it takes practice. And the best kind of art is just look at there. Whatever you can think of in your head and you just make it and it's perfect. I like your cat. Very nice. <laughs> Was this fun? Nice way to end school. Hmm. I see. Yes. What is that map of Africa? So or South, nope, not South Africa. America. South America. I'm Mama. upside down. It's hard for me to read it. Like Argentina. Mm -hmm. I see it. 
Amazon River. Uh huh. We we circled so, it. I see. This is what the table looks I'm like at about six o'clock. Oh, mom, look what's that? I see. Um, it's called productivity. They work in this but they were working at this table. Everybody did work just fine. It was clean. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like at the end of the day. And it's not terribly bad. And, um, yeah, we, we got a lot done today. A lot, a lot, a lot. Do you see where Mark Twain is? You see where Mark Twain? Oh, nice. Uh-huh. So... Yeah, we've got all kinds of things going on here. You know, we got crowns back in here. That was art. Language arts, language arts. Mm hmm I already turned her page, but that went with that. We did geography, we did Bible, we did reading comprehension. We did another reading comprehension, which was put away. Mm -hmm. um, because we didn't work in our actual reading book, our reading curriculum. We finished the, ch the chapter, or the two stories. So we went to here, the two smaller books. The other one is a scholastic book. It is somewhere. I see, very nice. Where's your green book, Terry? Do you see it? Or maybe, oh, nope, they're still on the table. They're buried. Here they go. So, we alternate here and here. If reading is finished. So, not with that. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking in here for talking about art today. So, I was just looking here for art specifically for Da Vinci and I could not find what I wanted but I see I did find um, the Mona Lisa or I was looking for Michelangelo not Da Vinci yeah that's why they was there so I need to put all these books back on the shelf over there but ooh, not bad <laughs> Not bad at all. We got it all done, covered, and nice day. Highlighter. Where'd I look? Let's see. Um, what does she do? She did that. And I need to add art was nowhere on this plan. I had not finished the week, but, um, so I just need to write in art up. Yeah, I didn't even get that far. I stopped at, this up. art was on last week's plan, but it was not on this week's plan. So, I need to just put it down here, but, um, math, you know. And make sure I'm looking at the right child. Highlight it is done. So, yeah. This actually worked. Something new here. The whole completely different plan that I'm working on. That's why it looks kind of little, but it's actually a lot. Highlighted is done, and this is actually skewed because Monday was the eclipse. So we're actually this way, and we've gotten a lot done. 
considering I made the plan start on Monday. So, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But right here, we took a big chunk of time, which is why this is Tariq and Layla. Aaliyah really didn't do a whole lot. She did a lot, but not a whole lot. They did about seven pages of math today. And it's the reason for that. But we spent a while. We did a little workshop for about an hour, 15 minutes or so-ish. So I feel accomplished. And then we still got two things, two other things finished. The focus was math. And we finished two other things. So, yeah. So I actually, obviously, did not finish Thursday and Friday, but we're just going to keep trucking along. So far, just two things, and I just need to, I don't know, probably going to do the same thing for reading, and they'll read their red folder books, just the two supplementals instead of the actual reading, because it's two more days, and we'll pick up next week. Grammar, I did not. Uh, okay. I'm glad I looked at that and I need to write something else because we did finish something yesterday that we have been working on for a while so yeah <laughs> I have to go back in and catch myself sometime because I forget and then I'll say wait a minute we didn't even do anything but we actually do so I just forget we they played games yesterday I didn't include any of that so I have to put, I think I did on Zion. I didn't put on anybody else. So I need to go back and kind of fill in. I filled hers in. I didn't fill anybody else in. So, yeah. And she did a lot of math yesterday. So I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good. For the most part. All right. Actually, I'm not even ready to pull it, but Madeline, it's rescue. I think we used this time. And um, St. George and the Dragon. So, and I don't know how far we're going to take this. Uh, Great Britain, we're going into some castles and things like that. I'm trying to move it along, but when you do a unit study like this, you there's a lot to cover and that's the reason why in order for us to get through the book um you know the curriculum even though it's a unit study we have we cannot just do every single thing in it at one time because there's a lot in order to get through the countries and the countries uh the united states because we're doing both we're going to revisit this i don't know how many years we'll be able to do this but it works um and of course I have my high schooler doing the same thing because it works there's just so much information you can find and I don't need anything else for geography but here is that and that's basically what we use here and then I have another section of books that um, is actually laid out for specifically for uh, galloping the globe and cantering the country so one of our geography resources is awesome awesome and it just has a lot of vivid pictures in here and um, you get your maps you get all of your you now it is an older book but um, their flags so it helps them to know what color to color their flags gives them up close and then this part we really focus on you know what what the country has to offer and you know just the reading it's just enough information and then in the beginning they fill out all of the you know the official name the area the population all of that kind of stuff and for a little one you don't have to start with that i didn't start with that so we're actually filling some of those in because i wanted the kids to do that and when we started this curriculum they were not writing that well so i don't want their whole interactive notebook to be something that i do i want them to be able to do it so the in the beginning they started out just coloring because that is all that they could do. And maybe a little bit of, um, if we did a little craft to go along with it. So now they're up to writing, so we're adding more detail to that notebook for those notebooks. But this was a good will find. So for um, 20 cent, yeah. <laughs> I got my money's worth on that. So 
So, yeah. Anywho, other than a uh, devotional Bible time, uh, I think that kind of took it. Uh, of course, of the day, we started at 10. We ended around 4. We took about a... We... <laughs> I think I took a, probably about 45-minute break for lunch. And, um, yeah, it worked. So, we got everything finished, complete, and that's kind of, like I say, kind of how the day goes. You know, it's not always the same. It's not always as, um, comprehensive. We didn't do any spelling today. We finished our chapter, so we pick up on spelling tomorrow, and it's only one page. The only person that has not done a little more is Zion, and she's three, so, but she did art today, so, that was her school. <laughs> and let me go on with this video. So I don't know how long it's going to be, but I thought I was just going to catch you guys up for this month because I have been MIA. So enjoy the rest of the video.